Hey everyone, hello and welcome, Tony Bing here. For this guide video I figured that I would actually start looking at characters that maybe a lot of people haven't covered because I've, I have went for the most obvious characters that I enjoyed and I've done guides for them but I now want to look at some heroes that are maybe left behind a little bit and people don't actually play them an awful lot or there's not an awful lot of guides out for them and try and see if I can come up with a fun build. The last character I've done this for was Black Widow. She's a, a hero that a lot of people aren't massively impressed with ever since the biggest update ever but really the voltage build that I was playing around with is a whole lot of fun. I did really enjoy it. So that was my intent with trying to come up with a Mr. Fantastic build. Now the thing that immediately sprung to mind for me, being a big fan of Brutal Hits ever since my Hawkeye guide, was his Positron emitter and the fact that there's a talent that bumps it up to 30 charges and it automatically brutes. Now that along with the fact that quite a lot of his, his kit actually has a 100% crit chance drove me towards doing another Brutal build that's possibly more Brutal focused than my actual Hawkeye one is but it works really well as you'll see in the next series of videos I'll be doing here but this will be my Mr Fantastic vs Cosmic Trial video we'll smash through this, I know for a fact we will, I don't even need to say if we do, I know we will and once we do that we'll then do videos for the Cosmic Super Scroll and Cosmic Ultron as well but as always details to the build are in the link below, I hope you enjoy here we go, this is Mr. Fantastic against the Cosmic Trial. There we go, that really was nice and easy. The two charges of pause from the meta really do a whole lot of damage. Thank you. 
and there we go, done nice and easy. So as you can see when you're fighting multiple bosses it's all about really trying to save the positron emitter for when you do need it. Now as much as that does a huge chunk of damage for this build, you're actually getting really nice damage from gravitation emitter, hyperstatic inducer and also from your signature because these all have a 100% chance to crit. The build has a 60% chance to brute which means these three skills essentially 60% chance to brute and we also have huge brute damage as well so it all comes together really nice. The actual main spend that I'm using I prefer this because it's got an extra crit hit chance which bumps up the fact that there are other skills we don't need the crit hit chance on because they automatically crit so a crit can be a bit low in this build but this has got an extra 10% and also he can be a bit squishy so I prefer the range on him and finally with the giant punch this actually hits for a nice amount it's taken mainly for the fact that it's another cooldown power and uh, as such it will add the charge to pause on emitter so just try and make sure you get close to use it but really I hope you did find this video insightful here's a little element up here actually oh no it's not it's a radioactive ice top we'll actually just ignore that then apologies for that right, I hope you did find the uh, build insightful and what I'll do is I'll follow up with a super scroll terminal and if you're looking for further info, there'll be a link to the item based in the description below. But thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all again soon.